Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more La Milana 2. In the last episode, we discovered a couple of new areas, found the Ankh Jewel for a Divine Fortress, and got our next sub weapon, the knife. It's pretty great. Today, I think we are going to try to figure out where the Ankh for this place is. There were a couple of place interesting uh, places that kind of stood out to me before. See if I can, uh, yeah. See if I can get anywhere. Oh, yeah, before I forget. That guy has data, but no, uh. We got data for Samaranta, and I never showed it to you. One of the four philosophers. The philosopher of strength. Takes an active role in leading surveys and restoration of the ruins. Not very good at heavy lifting. How ironic. So yeah, this is the room in question. It's the Fairy King's bow. Not really sure what the deal is here. We also have some uh, some rather curious texts. Fire rain upon the earth. Golden key. Golden Wings, Glove of Power. Hmm. I don't think we're actually making any progress being on this side, so let's go over this way. Go. That is a very good jump, Mr. Frog. I'm impressed. Piggy pig. This, uh, this looks pretty interesting. It's almost guaranteed to be a trap, though. Oh. Wait, it can't be a trap. Your door's blocking it. Alright. A mistake of interpretation has been made. I mean, you know, what else is there? Alright, the secret orb. <coughs> That's gonna be a big help. Okay, so you can attack Valkyries from behind. That's what I'm reading from this. to find this uh, liquor at some point. If all else fails, we'll just move on to Valhalla or something. There are a lot of places we could go, really. Brynhild, Maiden Custodian of the Divine Chalice. Raubrager, Maiden Custodian of the Golden Gleaming Wrist Guard. Sigrun, Maiden Custodian of the Lunar Breastplate. Oh, we just got sent back here, which is rather annoying. Yeah, 
Valkyries, vulnerable to backstabs. Uh, still is the question of how the heck do you get that, uh... Let's see if we can attack it from... Yeah. No, okay. What is the meaning here? That is not it. Okay, that's all the Valkyries dead, but nothing actually happened because of that. Can't really get up there either. Magical ship thought to belong to the fairy king Frey, who was born of Vanir, created by the fifth children of Blacksmith. The fact that it is constructed well enough to cross the sea of chaos belies its collapsible, portable nature. Interesting. It's kind of a tanking everything like a boss. Let's go to Valhalla, uh, if I can remember where it is. Might have been along this side. Yes, here's Valhalla. This is the fortress of the Vanir, who defeated the Aesir, who sought to destroy Yggdrasil. The Calamity Vritra is sealed here until the day comes for the end. Valhalla. Wall of Spears sounds, uh, pleasant. There is a hidden means of binding to an Ankh. The fate of those who bury their soul within an Ankh is tied to its guardian. Interesting. What is this throne? True king sits on but one of the twelve thrones. Okay. This is Valhalla, where the souls of those fallen in battle are gathered. That Holy Grail tablet is covered differently. Since it isn't a regular Holy Grail tablet, I don't think it will be recorded in Holy Grail. There's something similar in Lama Lana. If you got some sort of game app loaded up, apparently you can tweak the frequency to record to the Holy Grail. 
think that something made recently would operate at the same frequency as another made centuries ago. It's pretty much a miracle. Kinara. Doesn't look very bird-like. Is that a is that a thing of corn? That's hilarious. Felt the soul, the trickster of Yggdrasil, is attempting to awaken the Ankh in this land. It's not yet time to unleash Rintra. He is in hiding somewhere. Stop him. Is Carbuncle. The bodies are hardened to guard the gold at their center. Interesting. The blue eye projects, protects Ekersil. It levels divine, pun divine punishment against those who dare to harm the Holy Lands. The red eye protects Ekersil. It levels divine reckoning against those pitiful few who ransack these lands. Interesting. I don't quite know what that means yet. Is a uh... Oh no! I got pwned. Alright, but uh... Oop. The rudest, uh... The rudest wall. Yeah, there was no way I could have dodged that. There we go. Huh. Got it. What's that do for us? Evidently not much. Uh, it just lets us uh, go to the throne. I don't know what the significance of these is yet, but I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Gold-plated Vuku Kakwix is protected by its two sons, the brothers Ikpana and Kawakan. He'll be awakened when their lives are spent. Interesting. We're gonna have to remember that for later. That looks significant. Can't get up there, though. <laughs> well, maybe if I fall down from above. Go up. Another armored thing. This guy is holding a liar. That's cool. Do you know about mantras? Be it a hidden relic known as the Jed Pillar, a mantra turns words containing power into power itself. You can't the human mantra representing heaven in front of the bust of Mimir here in this room, and a path leading up above will appear. There are a lot of similar mechanisms here in Eglana that are sealed by mantras. Alright, we're gonna have to come back once we find the jet pillar. Oh. Thought that was a puzzle, it was an enemy.
bloody gate. You know what it is, Heather? That's a big old nope. You're going senile. Apparently it's called the Corridor of Blood. Try checking out with the scanner. There should be some kind of information on it. Oh, okay. Cool. Do not approach the Corridor of Blood. Doing so will invite the end. Those who brave the Corridor of Blood will be exiled to the land that is not. The corridor said, is said to awaken upon drinking the blood of the mighty. It's not known where this corridor leads. Let's check it out. Corridor of Blood. Shrine of the Frost Giants. Uh, we probably don't want to be here just yet. Whoa, what? Oof. Ancient Chaos. Hall of Mouse. Brahma asked Odin, what is creation? Odin responded that all was birthed from the remains of the primeval giant Ymir. The glimmer of that which is birthed from death is creation. Probably don't want to... Well... Let's, uh, let's try and figure out what the heck is even going on here. I, uh, I can't get out. <laughs> well, all right. That was, uh, a curiosity. and get back up there. Oh wait, that was in Valhalla, right. Um, well, I guess uh, task number one is to uh, get back to Valhalla. Whatever it is. I don't even remember, honestly. Yeah, it's still here. Alright, let's figure out what's down. Whoops. Oh, there's a... Oops, certainly something here. Cast a spear that penetrates the earth through the hole it runs through. Okay. There 
once three machines which came to us six children from the sky. They were named Shiva, Vishnu, and Brahma. Okay, uh, Hindu deities there. Shiva and Vishnu, weapons with power to burn entire cities, were rendered useless during the war. Brahma alone, watching over the world from above, was taken away by beings who came from the skies. It is said that Brahma possesses all information on Eglana. Hmm. Sounds like something we may want to find. We broke a thing, but I don't know what that did for us. Iguana. I was this close to clearing it. I'll try it later in the next light. That statue down there looks pretty important, but uh, we might need a sigil to get down there. True Lord of the Asura, who deposed Vishnu from his seat in heaven, Jolandara. He's been sealed here, so his terrible power may not be... That sounds like he could be a guardian. Ooh! I, uh... I just got a laser. How far back did that set me? Still have that. Oh man, I don't even know. Well, I'm guessing, uh, still have, uh, do I still have 96 health? I can't tell. That may have set us back quite a ways. This is, uh, troubling. Yeah, I still have 96 health. Still have the, uh, I still have that. Okay, so maybe we didn't get set back all that far. That's good. I think we're gonna call it a, I think we're gonna call it a day, though. That was, uh, quite the adventure we had. I'm not really sure what to say about all that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for watching. It was fun.